XZ washes his hands. Hello and welcome to Storytime. Today we are talking about washing your hands. It is important to wash your hands. That way you can be clean and safe to help prevent sickness. Do you have a specific routine of how you like to wash your hands? XZ likes to wash his hands with warm water and soap. Before he washes his hands, he makes sure something is ready to dry them. Whether it is paper towels, a fabric towel, or just napkins, XZ is prepared for the task. Right now, XZ has two sheets of paper towels ready. He tore them off from the full roll of paper towels. He has them right next to him on the sink. He can easily reach them. When they are this close, there are no worries of dripping or splashing any water. XZ knows that washing his hands is very important and it can't be rushed. Papa XZ and Mama XZ taught XZ to count to 20 while he washes his hands. At first, it seemed like it was too long to XZ. Now that it has become a habit, XZ happily washes his hands as he knows that it saves him from many viruses. XZ likes the feeling of clean hands which smell fresh like his favorite soap. Now XZ is ready to teach his little brother how to wash his hands. First, XZ moves the stool to the sink. Then he calls his best friend to hop on. He grabs the soap and starts to help. Baby brother XZ and XZ are washing his tiny hands together while counting to 20. XZ is happy and excited to help his brother learn the importance of washing his hands. How often do you wash your hands? Do you like to wash your hands when you get home? Visit us on youtube.com forward slash XZ family and watch and like our videos. Tell us which story you liked the most and why. Until then, we will see you next week. Don't forget to wash your hands, everyone. Super Grandma XZ and Super Grandpa XZ's Super Slumber Party Today in XZ's Imagination Igloo, his super grandparents are having a super slumber party. A slumber party is a sleepover, if you didn't know. And this one is reserved only for superheroes. Superheroes just like you. Do you want to go? Yeah? You do want to go to Super Grandma XZ and Super Grandpa XZ's super slumber party? Okay, cool. Let's go together. But you have to wear your super suit. You know, your superhero costume. Because it's supers only, of course. Hello and welcome to story time. Super Grandma XZ and Super Grandpa XZ are two of Super XZ's favorite superheroes. And guess what? Tonight, they are having a super slumber party. Super Baby Brother XZ has everyone dancing to the music, while Super Grandma XZ is flying around, helping everyone to enjoy the fun and games. Super Grandpa XZ is prepping the tastiest snacks. He stretches his super long arms while laughing upstairs. Then he opens the fridge and starts cutting fresh strawberries and watermelon. Now Super Grandpa XZ is dancing with Super XZ brothers and Super Grandma XZ while pouring milk in the cups for them. All with his super long stretching abilities. Super Cousin XZ is using his super eyes to create a rainbow and confetti. Then he looks up and thousands of bubbles start floating in the air, filling the area above them. Super XZ and Super Baby Brother XZ are excited and are giving everyone high fives. Super XZ starts running around using his super speed. He is grabbing all the toys and moving them to the dance party area under the bubbles and rainbow. 
everyone has matching pajamas and socks on. Happiness is on everyone's face. This is the best sleepover. What do you like to do during sleepovers? How do you celebrate these special events? Super Grandma XC likes using her flying power to make sure everyone is enjoying themselves. Super Grandpa XC likes using his super long arms to make perfect snacks. Super Cousin XC likes using his super special eyes to create the unique styled party decorations. Super XC likes using his super speed to make sure toys are not missing. Super Baby Brother XC likes to make sure everyone is grooving with him to the beats and tunes. What about you? Tell us all about your best slumber party at the XC family at gmail.com and we will give you a shout out in one of our next stories. Until then, thanks again for joining us everyone. See you next week. Welcome to Storytime! And now, XZ's Puzzle Tussle from XZ's Imagination Igloo. I'm not one for a puzzle tussle, I must say, said the puzzle. But today, this puzzle's puzzle muscle seems to be kerfuffled, the puzzle exclaimed. XZ looked at the puzzling puzzle. The puzzle, who was all of a sudden, like the snap of a button, happened to butt in appearing here in the veneer in front of them. And it was not clear quite what it meant as to why this guy would interfere. A mild interference, nonetheless, I must confess. And as this puzzling puzzle's thesis began crumbling to pieces, one by one, nothing could be done. Can you help me help me? asked the puzzling puzzle. We will help you, XZ shouted. After seeing this series of unfortunate events tumbling and crumbling before them, XZ thought to himself, Hmm, how can I help? Then, when the tussle was muffled, XZ put the puzzle back together. The End Thank you for joining us for XZ's Weekly Storytime. The XZ Family is a fictional children's series about young XZ. Follow XZ along his adventures and journeys. Learn and explore. Please consider joining the XZ Family for exclusive benefits. Earth Day with the XZ family. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Today is all about celebrating and protecting the Earth. What are you doing today to celebrate Earth Day? Take a second to tell us. Welcome to Storytime with the XZ family. Today, the XZ family is going outside to have a great time and learn how to protect our planet. XZ and little brother XZ are anxiously excited. They put on their sunscreen and hats to be fully prepared for a long adventurous day outside. They have packed their toys and some snacks. The first thing on the agenda today is to pick up all of the trash in the park. The XZ brothers actually play and run at this park very often. Today, this Earth Day cleanup will help the entire community. Papa XZ brings all sorts of supplies for their mission. He even has two different types of trash bags. Papa XZ and Mama XZ show the XZ brothers that plastic bottles and other recyclables go into one bag while trash goes into the other one. 
Exy is running around happily collecting everything he can find. He grabs a bunch of trash and rushes back to the bags. He sorts it out quickly and is ready for more. Then he notices little brother Exy, who is struggling with sorting out all of the trash. After a little help and a few tips, they've both got it down like pros. One hour later, they are all done. Yay! The XZ brothers exclaimed, eager and ready to take on the next mission. Let's get ready for the Earth Day Parade with the XZ family. It's time to grab the whole family. XZ picks up his friends and Grandma XZ, Grandpa XZ, Aunt XZ, Uncle XZ, and Cousin XZ to join them. They head to the biggest park in the area with their trash bags and trash grabbers. The Earth Day Parade begins. Everyone is picking up the trash and recyclables while laughing and singing through the park. They turn around and surprisingly see five more people joining them. Then ten. Then twenty. XZ's fans, super fans, and super duper fans all showed up to support this big moment. Now, this is a real parade. XZ is excited. XZ loves the special parade. He is walking in the very front with his little brother leading the way. They are helping each other with every step. What a success! Now, the park looks amazing. We achieved our goal. Have you ever helped to protect the Earth on Earth Day or throughout the year? Tell us all about it. Maybe your example could be highlighted on the next Earth Day as a pentacle for years to come. Then we can share not only this story, but your story as well to teach others every year how to be more involved with investing in our planet. Hi, and welcome to Storytime with the XZ family. I'm XZ. Today, I want to show you how to practice your United States capitals. I know all of the USA capitals by heart, and you can too. It's not easy to memorize all 50 of the state capitals, but I promise it isn't impossible. And if I can do it, I believe you can too. It's far from impossible, especially if it's a goal of yours. Before I share one of my most important secret tips for learning, make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any of our new weekly videos. Make sure you like the video, and if it helps you, make sure to pass it around to your friends and family. Okay? Thanks! Now, one of my most important secret tips about learning anything, but especially things you want to memorize, is word association and practicing weak spots. That's how I learned all of the state capitals. First, I learned the ones that stood out to me. Now every day during bath time, Papa and Mama will quiz me on all of the capitals that are in the United States of America. It's a huge, big country, isn't it? Have you seen the map? I like to look at the map and learn where the states and capitals are. When I first started, I would only learn the names, but now I know where many of them are, and soon, I will know them all by location because I will keep practicing every day. Are you ready to practice daily to learn new things? Let's do it. Let's practice a few state capitals now. What's the capital of Colorado? It's Denver. That's right. What about the capital of Hawaii? It's Honolulu. Good. And the capital of New York? It is Albany. That's right. Great job. Thank you for joining us today for story time. See you next week.
and keep practicing. Super XC saves the animals. Zoom! Did you see that? That was Super XC using his super speed. Did you know that Super XC can run so fast that he can run up a tree? Look, over there. Super XZ just saved a cat that was stuck in the tree. Wow, and look over there. Super XZ saved that dog from a burning building. Super XZ likes to help anyone in need. Watch, Super XZ just helped that turtle cross the street. Sometimes animals can get caught outside of their homes. When this happens, they are not fully aware of or familiar with their surroundings. Putting trash where it belongs can also help to ensure no animals are harmed by it. They can find themselves trapped in little things that we use every day. Look at Super XZ now, directing traffic for the ducks and cranes to cross the street. Look at all the little ducklings following behind the mom and dad duck. Super XZ makes sure every duckling is safe. Then he rushes over to grab a squirrel who was confused in the road. The little baby squirrel was trying to cross the highway in the middle of a rush hour. He seemed to be rushing to catch up to his mummy squirrel. Super XZ saves his little friend and feels happy with all of the accomplishments for today. Super XZ runs home to tell Super Mama XZ and Super Papa XZ about his adventures. Super XZ knows that he always needs to be ready to help anyone who needs help, especially because at any moment he may need to stop everything he is doing and help someone. What about you? Do you like helping those in need? How does it make you feel? Tell us about it at thexcfamily at gmail.com and enter for a chance to win the newly released book by the XC family. Hurry up! Copies are limited and this is only while supplies last. Okay, I hope you enjoyed story time. See you next week for more story time with the XC family. How to do math with XZ and friends. Hi, I'm XZ. Do you know how to do math? I'm learning how to do duplicates and I want to show you some. Can I show you how to do some of the cool math I'm learning? Yes? Good. First, these are called duplicates. They're called duplicates because we're adding the same number twice. Like 2 plus 2 or 5 plus 5. Those are duplicates. So, do you know the answer to 2 plus 2? I'll give you a second to think about it. The answer is 4. What about 1 plus 1? Do you know the answer for 1 plus 1? Hmm, after I tell you the answer, I want to show you how I like to figure it out. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, let me show you a cool story I tell myself any time I need to figure out simple math like 1 plus 1 or 2 plus 2. Okay, first, I imagine my friends from Sesame Street. If Cookie Monster is all by himself eating cookies, then Elmo joins him. Now there are two friends. That's 1 plus 1. If Bert and Ernie are singing songs together, then Big Bird and Grover join them and sing along. How many friends are there singing? That's right, four. Do you want to practice math with your favorite friends? Email us at thexcfamily at gmail.com and share your story. Please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our videos. Then you won't miss out on any of our new stories. Okay, see you next week, everyone.
XZ's happy day takeover. Today, XZ is having a happy day takeover. Sometimes happy days just can't help but to take over. You know what I mean. Maybe this has happened to you too. But why exactly is XZ having a happy day takeover today? You might ask. Well, stay tuned for story time with the XZ family so you can hear all about it. But first, I want to tell you about XZ's COVID Chronicles Part 1, the book. It's available right now on Amazon. Have you ever ordered anything on Amazon? It's easy, convenient, and super fast. You should order the book right now and it will be there in no time. And ask us about how to get $5 back if you do. Thanks so much. And now, story time. Today's story is called XC's Happy Day Takeover. And wow, was it a takeover. There was uncontrollable happiness all over and nothing could stop the XC family from enjoying their day. Happiness was taking over everything. The XC family was seen strolling through the park and the nearby shops smiling and laughing. It was clear they were happy, but what makes it a takeover? Well, a takeover is about competition. When there are two opposing sides, if one side can overwhelm the opponent, it is considered a takeover. Well, today, the XC family is letting happiness take over. No matter what else is going on in your life, you can do this too. Sometimes it is easy to forget to focus on things we should be grateful and happy for. But when we stop and think about them, it is not difficult to be appreciative. And today, appreciation is at an all-time high. And there are happiness takeovers happening all over. It's spreading. Do you feel it? I know I do. Thanks for joining us today for story time. Go ahead and email us right now so you can tell us all about the time when you let happiness take over too. By joining our email list, you won't have to worry that you miss any updates about your favorite new stories from the XC family. For a limited time, you could win a free book or a free t-shirt from the XC family. Act now while supplies last. Go ahead. I know you want to. We are waiting for you. Click it and don't forget to ask about your free $5 from Cash App for becoming one of the 200,000. Check out the description for even more details and cool ways to contact us and stay connected. Thanks again. Until next time. Later. XZ's first day of school. Today is XZ's first day of school. XZ is excited and ready to go. Everyone loads up in their car seats for the trip. Papa XZ, Mama XZ, and baby brother XZ are prepared. They talk about school on their ride there. All together, they walk down the hallway to XZ's classroom wearing XZ family masks and t-shirts. Mama XZ helps XZ find his seat and put his backpack away, while baby brother XZ and Papa XZ are smiling and watching. XZ wanted his brother to go with him, but baby brother XZ is still too small for now. The XZ family smiled as they watched XZ looking cool and getting comfortable in class. They wanted to stay all day if they could, but they couldn't. At first, when XZ realized Mama XZ and Papa XZ were not there anymore, she was concerned. Then XZ realized they will be back soon. XZ was able to finish all of his schoolwork. He drew pictures. He counted numbers. He learned about animals. And he wrote his name on all of his papers. One of XZ's teachers forgot to write his full name, 
XZ had to teach his teacher his name has both the X and the Z. Now when he writes his name in school, it's correct. What is something that you have done recently that made you feel proud? Tell us about a time when you had to speak up for yourself. Don't forget to email us at thexzfamily at gmail.com and subscribe at youtube.com forward slash xzfamily. See you next time. Learn how to count with the XZ family. Welcome to the XZ family school of wonder. Today we are learning how to count. Do you know how to count numbers? XZ knows how to count to 100 by himself. But first, let's practice counting to 10. Will you help us count to 10? Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yay! We did it! We did it! We counted to 10. Let's do it again. Are you ready? Okay, here we go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, we did it again. Good job, everyone. Now, all we need to do is to keep practicing every day. The more you practice counting, the better you will be at counting. You will easily be able to count anything you want to. For example, you can count your stuffed animals and all of your books. You can count your blocks or your socks. And if you don't have anything to count, you can even count the rocks. After you get really good at counting, you can teach your friends how to count as well. Is there anything else you like to count? Maybe there's something you've always wanted to count, and now you know how. Email us at thexcfamily at gmail.com and tell us all about it. Share your ideas, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and family. Until we see you next time! XC and baby brother XC's bath time splash around. And now, story time. XC and baby brother XC like to splash around when it's bath time. After potty time, it's time to hop in the tub. There are always lots of bubbles waiting at bath time. The water is warm and the brothers are ready. It is important to clean up and relax after a long day. Unless you are one of the XC brothers, then you would only want to play. Papa XC and Mama XC will remind them not to splash. XC and baby brother XC will try not to splash. But the XC brothers love to have a good time, especially when they get to splish and splash. Baby brother XC shouts, Splash! Then he slaps his hands down fast into the water. He's holding his toy boat while he does it. The toy boat makes waves. XC starts to push the water around with his brother too. Now the waves start to get bigger and bigger. Baby brother XC grabs a bunch of bubbles and puts them on his face. XC follows his brother's lead and makes a bubble beard too. Baby brother XC starts repeating, Santa! Santa! Because of their foamy beards. Now they are both laughing and taking pictures of each other using their imaginary cameras. Suddenly, it's time for a bath time dance party. XC and baby brother XC stand up and start dancing. They're both grooving, moving side to side. Then they grab their imaginary microphones and start singing. Papa XC and Mama XC look at XC and baby brother XC and smile. They know that some water is splashing out of the tub, but seeing so much happiness in their boys' eyes makes them pause 
and let them enjoy themselves. Do you have fun with your bath time? Tell us about it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch all of our videos with your friends and family. See you next week, everyone. Safe splashing until then. XC jumps for joy. Welcome to story time with the XC family. Big things are happening. Check out the XC family newsletter for more details. And now, story time. Today's story is called XC jumps for joy. The story is all about being joyful in the moment and celebrating it. It's important not to lose control when you jump for joy. Make sure you see what's around you before you jump up high. XC loves jumping when he is excited. His baby brother is learning how to jump for joy too. Baby brother XC lifts himself up high onto his tippy toes and steps up and down. For now, that's his way of jumping. The secret to jumping for joy is the feeling of excitement. Extreme excitement can reach its peak during cool jumps. XC and baby brother XC jump when they see Mama XC and Papa XC, especially after some time has passed at work or school. They also like jumping for joy when they get new toys. A new toy can be very exciting especially if it's your new favorite or something you have been looking forward to. Every time XZ and baby brother XZ get to run outside, they are sure to do a few cool jumps and spark a little joy. What makes you jump for joy? Do you ever feel so excited that you feel like you have to jump really, really high? Email us at thexcfamily at gmail.com and share your jumping story. We can't wait to hear all about your story and how you like to jump for joy. That's all for now. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Did you know the XC family makes masks, t-shirts and other gifts? Well, if you didn't know, now you know. And guess what? We are giving them away to our fans for a limited time. Email us to enter the XC Family contest at thexcfamily at gmail.com. And now, story time. The Drake Family, Episode 1, Drake's World. Hi, and welcome to story time. I want to introduce you to one of my favorite families, the Drake Family. Baby Drake is celebrating his second birthday soon, but it seems like it was just yesterday in 2020 when Baby Drake was born. Let's look back at that day together now. Look, you can see Mama Drake and Papa Drake together at the hospital. Big Brother Drake is home with Grandma Drake and ready to meet his little brother. Big Brother Drake has expectations. He has asked questions and heard stories. Now he's been looking forward to this almost as much as Mama and Papa. Although Baby Drake was born during the middle of a pandemic, it seems like the entire world paused for his entrance. From day one when Drake was born, he was a strong and brave leader. Even today, as a younger brother and a small man, he can inspire courage from many around him, regardless of his age or experience. He is ready to explore and learn this world. Are you ready to join him as he learns and discovers everything inside and around his world? Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next week. XZ and Mama XZ's Big Slide Adventure It is a sunny summer day. The breeze is blowing and the trees are swaying. Mama XZ is sitting with XZ at the top of Twin Slides, smiling. They are having a competition. Who will win the race? They are ready to race down the slide at the count of three. Earlier, XZ was playing with his friend Liam on the slide. 
but they had to leave because it's dinner time. Mama XZ noticed that XZ started to look a little worried about his friend. Mama XZ knew exactly how to fix this. Before another moment could pass, Mama XZ took him by the hand. They ran up the stairs together to the top of the twin slides. They looked across the playground to Papa XZ. While holding XZ's little brother in his arms, Papa XZ smiled back at them. Excitement in his eyes as he looked on, enthusiastic about seeing the joy return to XZ's face. What keeps the joy on your face? Email the XZ family at gmail.com.